in a modern Toyota automotive system. Replacement ignition keys are coded with a specific digital signature. Technology advances now means that car keys are now electronic, so that vehicles are much harder to steal. Without the right key, your vehicle will not start. Important. You can program new ignition keys as long as you still have a working key called a master key. If you purchased a used Toyota model, chances are you only got one key with it. Understand this, if you lose that key or the electronics get damaged, you'll have to replace the anti-theft computer and add at least two new keys to it. All of this at a cost of a few hundred dollars. Again, you can program new keys with the following procedure so long as you still have a working key. Otherwise any thief can reprogram new keys for your car. Follow these steps to program a Toyota transponder key yourself without using any special equipment. Step 1 First, you will need to purchase a blank Toyota transponder key. You can do this from most locksmiths. Once you have the blank key, have the locksmith duplicate or cut the blank key to your original master. So, you need the original working key to be able to cut the blank, and because the anti-theft computer needs to read the old working master digital code. The assumption is that if you have the old master, you own the car. Step 2 Now that you have the newly cut key and the master key, you can program the Toyota transponder key. This means that the new key is already programmed with a digital code. All you're doing is letting the anti-theft computer know the new digital code signature. Sit in the driver's side of the Toyota vehicle. Press and release the brake and gas pedal simultaneously. We'll repeat. Sit in the driver's side of the Toyota vehicle. Press and release the brake and gas pedal simultaneously. Step 3. Insert the master transponder key. Do not turn the key. Push and release the gas pedal 5 times within at least 15 seconds of inserting the master key. Step 4. Press and release the brake pedal 6 times within 20 seconds of completing step 3, then remove the master transponder key. At this time, the anti-theft computer has verified that you are the owner of the vehicle. Step 5. Insert the newly cut transponder key into the ignition, but do not turn. Press the gas pedal once. Repeat, insert the newly cut transponder key into the ignition, but do not turn, and press the gas pedal once. Step 6. Wait up to 2 minutes, or whenever the security light on the dashboard turns off. Once the security light goes off, remove the new transponder key, and press the brake pedal once. The new transponder key is now programmed. Test the key by attempting to start the engine. If the engine does not start, repeat these steps again. It is good to know that you may have to perform these procedures a few times for it to work. The timing has to be exact and remember, you need working master key to be able to program new ignition keys on most Toyota vehicles built after year models 1996. If you only have one key, do yourself a favor and program a new key. Always keep one key in a safe place to be used as a master in case you lose one or it is damaged. As a final notice, all modern anti-theft systems only allow maximum number of keys to be programmed. If the anti-theft memory is full, you may either erase the older keys from memory if this is allowed, or you may have to replace the whole anti-theft computer. Most systems allow up to 12 keys to be programmed.